Welcome back Brewers, I'm Daniel with Keg King. Welcome back to the Keg King channel. If you like the content, please hit like and subscribe. Today we're gonna to talk about valves because homebrew valves, the ones that we use on our kettles and other pieces of equipment in our breweries have really come a long way. I'm really proud to be able to offer the Blickman linear flow valves as part of the valve selection offered through Keg King. So what you can see before me here is some of the stuff that we've seen throughout time going up to some of the newest stuff that's available now. It's incredibly different, better, and easier to use, and I'll show you the difference. So when I first started out home brewing, this was the valve everybody was using when we drill holes into kegs and you know other pieces of vessels and stuff so that we could like attach valves to be able to get liquid in and out. Uh, it wasn't, there was nothing wrong with these. These are great, we still offer them. They're fantastic value, but they're difficult to clean and take apart. So and the same thing for this valve, which actually comes standard on a lot of homebrew equipment. Usually this is the kettle valve and it comes with a 13 mil barb and this handle to control the, um, the flow speed. And it's got a bulkhead on it so that you could attach it to equipment and then from behind use the nut to seal it against the wall of that equipment. These two valves, I think you'll see a lot of them in home brewing um, on equipment and they're still used because they're affordable and they're reliable but for cleaning them, it's a bit difficult. How would you clean these valves? It's pretty simple. You're gonna do what you can with the surfaces that you can reach with uh, like tube brushes, you can use bottle brushes, you can use whatever you can to get into there and clean with the ball valve open. You'll be able to access through the ball that controls the flow. Uh, but beyond that, the only other way to really clean behind the ball in these is to boil them. So I would suggest leaving them for about 10, 15 minutes in boiling water and then let them cool and then you can use sanitizers and that's actually gonna kill bacteria if it was trapped behind the ball valve. So beyond these valves, which are pretty basic, we have ones that you can completely disassemble. So the three-piece ball valve is a great solution for people that really do care about the surface areas that their wort or their beer is passing through because you can take these completely apart and clean behind the, the, you can clean every part and you can clean behind the ball valve. So rather than have to boil them and then let them cool and then sanitize them again, you can just clean these, drop them in cleaner, rinse it, give it a sanitize, reassemble it. The issue is just that there's a bit of going on with these. So as you can see in this image here, there is a completely disassembled valve and it's like, it's not difficult to do this, but it's also just kind of a pain to have to tear it apart and put it back together. So you won't have any issues if you have to do it and you will be secure that you have cleaned thoroughly behind the valves and every single part with a three-piece ball valve. Now this is a butterfly valve. Again, very sanitary valve in brewing. These are used in dump valves and all sorts of other valves that people have on brewery equipment. This is an old one that used to be on our Fermenter King and Fermentosaurus stuff from back in the day. Um, everybody pretty much liked these. Some of the people had issues with leaking with them. Doesn't matter. The idea with this valve was that it was a clear passage through to the collection vessel on the other side of the fermenter's cone. So this was easy to clean afterwards because just being, if you look in there like that, just being a flat disc meant that you can open it and clean all around it. Plus, with these bolts on the outside, you could completely disassemble this as well and clean every little part of it, sanitize it, put it back together. Is it easy to do? Well, if you're handy, not, it's not too hard. But again, it's a little bit more work than where valve technology has led us into the future. Which brings me to, finally, Blickman's Linear Flow Valve. Now, I've been going on about these for a while. I've started using them myself and I do love them because they're very well thought out. So what is this valve about? What makes it special is that it's not a ball valve. The linear passage of fluid through it is controlled with this part of the valve. So when this is in place in here, it's closing off the exit, which is this area here. So this is just like any other tap to control the flow speed, you're just gonna turn this. But what's really interesting about these is that that surface inside is completely accessible. 
you can clean through every surface that your wort or your beer is touching. The control that this knob gives you for being able to select the flow speed is fantastic. And then when you back it out further past controlling flow, you can actually just pull it apart and tear it apart. It's that easy to break down. So if you've ever broken down one of these, you know it's not difficult, but it's also a lot of extra fiddling around to get the valve clean. They give you this O-ring so that you can seal it to the outside of a vessel wall, and you just need a pipe nipple to be able to attach it and a hex nut on the inside to hold it in place on your vessel. So it is a fantastic improvement in valve design. Now, where have I put it in my brewery? At my house, I'm using it on my brewery system as a kettle valve, just like this one that I've set up here. So whatever you're currently using, unless it's got a linear flow valve on it already, this is a better valve. Uh, it's just easier, like I said, to clean and break down. So the most sanitary valve that we've seen in any design, one of the most fantastic, easy to use valves to break down and to keep things even cleaner than you could ever imagine is this aseptic valve. Now we don't offer these separately, but they do come standard as parts on the G4 pressure fermenters from Blickman Engineering that we're now offering as part of our range of fermenters here at Keg King. So what makes this valve even better than every other valve out there is the ability for, in this case, to store sanitizer in this area here. So when you're not using it, this can be filled with ethanol, it can be filled with your sanitizer solution. And let's say you were to open the valve to run some sample out before you would open the valve, right? If this was closed. So with this in the closed position, before you would use it, you would run the sanitizer out of it by just taking this out and letting the sanitizer run out. Then you would attach your connections to this part of it here, which is a half inch BSP thread. And you just run your process, whatever you needed to do, get a sample or run into a keg or whatever you're doing for packaging. Then when you're done using it, if the fermenter is still in operation, let's say you just pull the sample, you could then open this part of the valve after you've closed the valve for the tank and you can fill this and rinse this with your sanitizer, fill it with ethanol, whatever, cap it back off, and now you can be absolutely rock solid that everything behind the valve, which is closed against the tank, everything here is now completely sanitary. So why would you get an aseptic valve? Simply because if there's anything trapped behind here, it's actually just sitting in sanitizer or ethanol, whatever you choose to use to keep things sanitary behind the valve. It'll be closed against the tank so the tank won't be flowing into it, waiting to be opened. So when you're ready to use it, you just run the sanitizer out, take your sample, close it back up or rinse it first once it's closed against the tank, and that's it. So I love these, they're amazingly well built. There's actually heavy weight to them. This variety is 1.5 inch triclover, so they're fantastic. You can hook them up to your brewery equipment and start using them. They integrate well with all sorts of other brewery equipment, like the ones that I've got on other brewery systems. So that's pretty much it on valves. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time, brewers.